So good day to everyone. I am Adrian Silva and I'll be presenting the Bucha ng Pasig, but this time in the form of a film. I'd also like to um, recognize my partner, Julio Scucheras, who made this wonderful PowerPoint presentation for all of us today. Shown on this slide is the official movie poster for the film. As you can see, it's actually quite a vintage film. Um, it was released in the year 1950. It was directed by Richard Abelardo, cousin of the famous composer Nicanor. Its main genre is the musical drama, but it also has elements of romance, tragedy, and mystical elements interwoven into the mix. It was released in the year 1950, as stated earlier. For the writers of the movie, of course, we have Nicanor Abelardo and Maria S. Torres as serialized in Sinigtala. The studio who handled the film was LVN Pictures Incorporated. So, of course, we have Nicanor Abelardo, the main writer of the, of the song, or, the, or rather the composer of the song. And he's actually one of the most uh, well-known musicians of, in the Philippines. He was actually a prodigy at, and at the age of six, he was already mastering instruments in his hometown. He was also a teacher in the UP Conservatory of Music even before he finished his degree. So, in short, he was actually one of those really, really, really great musicians that come along once in a generation. So now for the cast of the film, we have Rebecca Gonzalez as Mercedes, the tragic mother in the first half of the film. We have Roger Nite as Delphine, her lover. We have Jose Padilla Jr. as Don Modesto. And fun fact for everyone, Jose Padilla Jr. is actually the grandfather of Daniel Padilla, as shown by the surname and of course, when you look at them, they actually kind of look alike. We also have Lily Milia Flor as Matilde, Dalia Razon as Consuelo, the protagonist of the second half of the movie, and Tiodi Bellarmina as Basilio, uh, Consuelo's lover. And now for the next part, we will be taking a look at the plot of the film. The plot of the film is actually quite complex, especially for a movie that's, that only runs for one and a half hours. So um, I'd like everyone to actually pay attention this time because there are many twists and turns that happen in the story um, pretty much every 10 minutes or so. So let's begin. So now, we start with the plot of the film or what are the in the film. So the film starts with um, <clears throat> Delphine and Mercedes. There are fiestas in the town, nila, ano, along the banks of the river Pasig. Ngayon, kumakanta sila to the song mo siya ng Pasig because yun nga, yung movie na to based around that song. So, sa simula, kumakanta sila happily to the song of uh, mo siya ng Pasig. Tapos, meron siyang problema. Meron palang pangatlong tao na nagkakagusto kay Mercedes. Ito si Don Modesto. Siya yung parang Don or yung rich man ng town nila. So, para siyang love triangle where it's Don Modesto, gusto si Mercedes, even though si Mercedes meron ng kasintahan, which is si Delphine. Now, after ng piyesta, malapit na ikasal sana si Delphine saka si um, Mercedes. Kaso, merong group of uh, na, of thieves pumasok dun sa mansion Don Modesto at sinubukang magnakaw. Ang problema, nakuli sila. Tapos yung mga magnakaw ang ginawa, pinagbintangan nila si Delphine na kasabwat daw nila sa magnakaw. Even though di naman talaga. Um, important to note rin dito na si Don Modesto, even though um, may pag-anasa siya for, you know, for Mercedes, hindi niya sinabi na kasama talaga si Delphine doon sa mga mag-anakaw. In fact, si Don Modesto defend pa si Delphine. Sinasabi ni Don Modesto, tingin niya hindi kasama si Delphine doon sa act. Kaya eh, ang problema, yung mga mag-anakaw, kasama na yung mga polis, pinagbibintangan talaga si Delphine. So ang ginawa ng mga polis, kinulong rin si Delphine along with the thieves na yun. So dahil na iniwan si Mercedes, si Don Modesto naman, ang ginawa, iligawan naman si Mercedes. And dahil si Mercedes vulnerable at that moment, or na, na mag-isa lang talaga siya kasi, pumayag siya na ligawan siya ng Don Modesto. And as time went by, nag naging sila. So shown here in this slide, kinakasala sila ng dalawa. Ang problema, though, is si Delphine pinalaya. So si Delphine bumalik sa baro nila at hinabol ulit si Mercedes at nag-usap sila. Ngayon, yung housekeeper ng Don Modesto, si Matilde, nagsimula ng rumors. Pinagbintangan niya si Mercedes na nangangaliwa with Delphine or may affair siya with Delphine. 
even though hindi naman talaga. So, umabot to kay Don Modesto. Don Modesto, galit na galit nung nalaman niya. So, sobrang galit niya, pinalayas niya si Mercedes at yung kadalang anak na babae, baby pa lang. Now, it's it's important to note na yung baby, even though anak siya ni Don Modesto, tingin ni Modesto, hindi niya anak yun. Kasi again, yung rumor na is si uh, Mercedes at si Delphine matagal nang may affair. So, after nyan, nung pinapalayas na niya si uh, Mercedes, sobrang galit niya, pinalabas rin niya yung aso niya. So, yung dog ni Don Modesto, hinabol si Mercedes. Si Mercedes, bit-bit yung baby, desperate para ma-reach yung safety, tumalot siya sa river para hindi siya mahabol ng aso. Kaya ang problema, dahil nasa river nga siya at yung dalapan niya yung baby, yung baby sleeve niya nalagay sa lilipad or sa dahon na nabalutong sa river. Ngayon, ang problema, si uh, Mercedes naman yung nalunod in the river. Ito yung isa sa mga pinakasikat na shots ng film actually. So, here in slide number 6, makikita natin na si Mercedes na nalunod in the river. So, ito yung tragedy aspect ng movie like the song itself. Kasi yung mutsa ng pasig ng song, hindi rin siya happy kung tutuusin. Like, may tragedy pa rin na nangyari dito sa mutsa na figure na babae. So, it's also here in the film. Ngayon, may dalawang townspeople, si Angie and si Tolendoy. Uh, townspeople lang sila, hindi sila mayabang or anything. Common folk sila. Nakuha nila yung baby. And dahil nakuha nila yung baby, inalagaan nila at nirigis nila as their own yung baby. Naming it Consuelo. So, yung movie, after nun, magka-fast forward siya. Si yung baby, lumaki na, naging dalaga na, si Consuelo na siya. So, shown here in this slide, nasa right side siya. Tapos, on the left side, si Basilio. Si Basilio yung musician in the town na, ano, na gusto ni, uh, <coughs> na gusto ni Consuelo. At lahat nag-fast forward rin yung film, pinapakita rin si Don Modesto. Ngayon, si Don Modesto, after niya ma-realize yung senses niya after that moment, back then, nung pinalayas, pinataka, pinaalis niya yung asawa niya, nag-regret siya. Tapos, dahil lonely na siya at nag-regret na siya, sinusubukan niya hanapin yung asawa niya. So, one night, nung di siya sa tamang isip, nahulog siya sa stairs niya, tapos, nabal- tabaldado siya. So, here, it's shown na si Don Modesto nakaupo lang kasi hindi na siya makatayo ng maayos. Naging loop po siya to a degree. Tapos, yun nga, pinapakita na nagre-regret siya sa mga actions niya. Now, what if hindi na lang siya naging ganun ka, na, karahas ng araw na yun? Sana buhay pa yung asawa niya. Sana naayos pa yung problem. Kaso, yun nga, too late na. So, like the saying goes, nasa huli yung pagsisisi. So now, shown in this slide, si Basilio and si Consuelo nag-go on a date. Kasi yun nga, naging magkasintahan din sila. Tapos si Consuelo, um, pumunta siya sa river, tapos nahulog siya doon sa river Pasig. Si Basilio naman, sinagip siya, sinave siya ni Basilio from, from the river. Ngayon, habang nga sa river sila, nasabi, sinabi ni Consuelo na may makita raw siyang figure na kumakanta ng, ng mutsa ng Pasig na him. So, para nakikita niya yung image na may babae doon sa river kumakanta ng famous song from the feast. Ngayon, yung mga tao sa uh, river, narinig rin pala yung kanta. So, as a result, si Basilio nag-investigate. Tapos, na-realize si Basilio na doon sa lumang files ng father ni Basilio, andun yung mga notes or rather, andun yung mga uh, composition pieces ng dad niya. Nakita niya yung song ng Mucha ng Pasig. Tapos, shown in this slide, piniplay niya yung, uh, yung you know, um, musical notes ng song na yun while the rest of the people look on or and also nag-sing along with sila to that music. Now, sa next part na to, sa slide number 12, makikita natin na si Domo Desto, pinupuntahan siya ng mga tao to ask for donations for the, uh, for the new feast. Ngayon, si Domo Desto, even though sad na nga siya, no um nung humihingi sila ng ano na donations for the feast they got it to Modesto tapos sina tapos sinampal niya si Consuelo kasi naririnig niya yung mga rumors again tungkol dun sa dead wife niya because again yung Dubai yung town naririnig yung story na may kumakanta ron sa river so ayun 
nung sumikat yung rumors na galit na naman si Don Modesto sa mga tao na yun tapos sinampal niya si Consuelo please note that at this point in the movie hindi pa alam ni Don Modesto na si Consuelo yung anak niya so at the last day of the feast again kumakanta si um, <clears throat> si Consuelo nung kantang doon siya ng passing tapos yung adoptive father niya lasing so dahil lasing yung adoptive father niya pumunta siya on stage at pinahiya na yung anak niya para nag-rample on siya about a lot of things nagre-reklamo siya ngayon dahil sa dahil sa galit nung dahil sa galit umalis si Consuelo doon sa feast na yun tapos pumunta siya doon sa river si Consuelo pala nasa bangka tumakbo siya on a, nasa bangka tapos nag-go siya along, ano, along the river kaso nahulog siya doon sa river ngayon shown in this shot ito yung mocha ng Pasig or rather yung depiction of the mocha ng Pasig pero in this film siya yung ghost nung, ni Mercedes so ang nangyari yung ghost sinave si ano si Mercedes si ano si Consuelo from drowning in the river tapos shown here ito rin yung pinaka-notable shots in the film kumakanta yung ghost ni Mercedes sa kanyang anak ngayon nung hinabol ni Basilio si Consuelo nakita nila yung katawan yung katawan ni, 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 ano, ni Consuelo along the river bank ngayon buhay pa si Consuelo um, unconscious siya or nabulan siya ng himot ng, ano, ng malay so from there kinuha nila yung si, si Consuelo din nila nila kay Don Modesto Don Modesto kasi doctor rin siya na retired so ang hope nila is si Don Modesto yung magsisave sa kanya dahil na bitter pa si Don Modesto at the time nire-refuse niya i-treat yung babae pero nung finores yung mga ta- finores sila ng mga tao na pumasok sa bahay si Don Modesto nag-change, nagkaroon ng change of heart tinulungan niya yung babae tapos sinil niya ngayon nung nagising si uh, Consuelo sakalang in-introduce or ni-reveal na si Don Modesto talaga ito ang ama ni Consuelo all this time So shown here is yung final reunion no daughter sa kanong father after all these years. So after all that time, nagkaroon rin ng catharsis at na-reveal rin na in fact, long lost daughter niya yun. And at to some degree, mayroon rin palang positive side yun sa lahat ng mga nangyari. So nag-end yung film with Consuelo singing in the feast. Na sa lower right side, makikita natin si Basilio. So again, si Basilio yung musician, tapos yung town, pinapanood siya, kumakata siya ulit ng mucha ng Pasig, happily. So in the end, positive rin pala yung nangyari, na, na maganda rin yung kinalabasan na story ni Consuelo ano, and, and ni Basilio, even though hindi ganun kaganda yung nangyari kay Mercedes. But again, ini-echo niya yung tragedy ng mucha uh, as a song. And afterwards, nilagyan lang ni Richard Adelardo ng sariling rendition, yung version ni, ni Nicanor. And now we go to the unique features of the film. The first unique feature is the aspect of tragedy in the film. Um, the film is actually based on the song by Nick, uh, by Nicanor. So the movie it reflects rin niya the tragic aspects ng song. So the tragedies ng movie uh, most notably ay number one, yung pagkakulong ni Delfin dahil sa pagbintak sa kanya. So while the person itself wala namang ginawa talaga pala, ano nangyayari? Uh, nakukulong siya or nagkakaroon siya ng mga bad uh, events in his life even though completely innocent naman siya. He was just minding his own business pero nangyari pa rin anyway. And the second tragedy na film is nalunod si Mercedes sa River Pasig out of this place si Consuelo as a result. So si Consuelo supposedly um, happy, la- happy life dapat siya with Don Modesto and Mercedes in the mansion pero as a result na puto siya sa ibang family tapos si Don Modesto na depressed rin dahil doon sa ginawa niya. So, wapansin natin na yung lives of the characters in the movie na change forever all because of those tra- two tragic events. The next part is on mystics and magic. So, alam natin lahat na patay na si Mercedes no first part of the film. Kaso, nagre-reappear siya sa second part of the film as a ghost that sings the classic song mo siya ng Pasig. So, logically, It doesn't make sense. Bakit mag appear ulit yung babae? So in this sense, may mystical or may magical element yung film na normally di mo makikita in real life. The next part is on nature. The film is centered around the River Pasig. Kung mapansin natin na yung River Pasig back then, hindi siya sira or hindi siya polluted like today. 
because of the urbanization of the national capital uh, national national capital region nasira na yung river passage and dahil doon hindi mo na mararanasan yung mga nangyari dun sa movie with regards to the life of ano, along the river back then may meron pang actual life in river at magagawit pa siya for trade and things like that but now stagnant and polluted na siya and a lot of people actually prefer to avoid the river at yung mga slum areas lang yung nangyayari along the banks of the river back then magandang place siya to start a life but now we consider that only the unlucky people ang mabubuhay along the banks the next theme is on romance so may romantic uh, themes yung film dahil yung plot ng film driven by the love triangle by between Don Modesto uh, Mercedes and Delphine in the first part and of course in the second part by Basilio and Consuelo next is on the depiction of provincial life back then life was simple hindi siya ganun ka complicated hindi siya ganun kahirap much like um, how our grandparents tell us na back then simple lang wala kang iniisip you find a job you find a partner you raise a family you live you stay happy but nowadays complicated na siya marami kang hinahabol maraming if a factor in maraming babayaran maraming injustice na nangyayari sa mundo especially if you're in the urban areas where yung kahit yung kabayan ni Hanbola like pag pumunta ka sa kabilang part ng city sa, sa for example taga South ka taga taga Paranaque ka pupunta ka sa for example QC you you'd find that if di mo kakilala yung person na yon at di mo siya kaibigan talaga hindi kayo tutulungan so in that sense the provincial life back then was far simpler and in some cases uh, better uh, than the, the urban life we have right now and there's also the element of class divide again si Don Modesto educated siya doctor siya mayaman siya and he lives in a mansion so he relationship sa mga tao may bakod yung bahay niya hindi siya nakikipaghalubilos unless he wants to dun sa mga ibang tao in the town so ang nangyayari basically is mapapansin mo yung feudal aspect na present in the Philippine society na meron kang class na mayaman at may, meron kang class na working tapos yung working class more or less so dependent sila dun sa mayaman na class for things like for example donations ng fiesta um, in that aspect mas may mas may power yung mga mayaman sa society compared to the poor class na kailangan kailangan mag birthday today And now for the purposes of Mucha. So politically, si Mucha ng Pasig, kinabit na siya sa seal ng city of Pasig. So shown on the upper left side of the screen is yung seal ng, ng city of Pasig. Mapansin natin na nasa taas yung Mucha with the, rivers, with, with the river water and the two bodies of water on either side. Those depict the Guna de Bay and Manila Bay respectively kasi yung River Pasig kinok ko na kayo yung dalawa so in this sense political aspect yung Mucha ng Pasig kasi symbol siya of a city and a city is of course a form of uh, it's a government unit a form of uh, politics so in religious purposes uh, again back then si Mucha ng Pasig um, one of the myths siya na pinapadiwalaan ng mga tao to guide them in life so in that aspect religion religion rin siya back then and also for ideological purposes back then the butcha meant something to people talaga so if you saw the butcha sometimes tra- no, sabi nila bad luck daw sabi naman yung iba um, love for nature or things like that or beauty so in that sense may ideas associated with butcha and therefore ideological rin siya in that use or in that uh, way of living and finally for economic purposes Um, we produce artworks based on the butcha and those artworks can be a form of uh, of um, product so for example the the Pasig City Museum has the statue of the butcha ng Pasig as one of its main attractions that museum charges an entry fee that entry fee can contribute to the economical prosperity of the city because again the city is uh, pays taxes and, al- and is also one of those uh, key units of the government So uh, another example is the paintings of Amarsolo shown here. Yung painting ginawa siya for art. Let's say let's give let's give it to, to that meaning. Artistic siya. Kaso 
pag gumagawa ka ng painting at ino-auction siya or binibenta siya, nakakaroon rin ng exchange of currency. Therefore, economic rin siya in that aspect. And now for roles of mucha in the film. So, yung mucha ng Pasig in the film, meram siyang ginagawa, uh, ginagampanan na role or ginagawa um, things na nag-affect sa mga tao in the film. So, in this sense, na shown here is both Mercedes and Consuelo. Mapansin natin na yung first uh, role ni Mucha ng Pasig is that of a simple wife and mother. Si Mercedes, wife and mother siya. Wife to Modesto and mother to Consuelo. So, ang nangyari is victimized siya much like in, uh, much much like the song hinihint rin na uh, hinihint na tragedy yung sa song. Pero in this aspect, pinapakita talaga ng tragic yung nangyari. Nag-suffer siya because of the mistakes or the wrongdoings of other people. Also, yung pangalawang role ni Mucha ng Pasig is the promotion of art. Kumakanta si uh, yung, si Mercedes and later on, ginampanan rin ito ni Consuelo nung siya rin Mucha. Kumakanta sila during the feast and pinapromote nila yung art or yung music of the time based on that role. And lastly, um, yung meron rin siyang role to correct the mistakes of other people. So, ang nangyayari is, um, in the end, while pwede, na, pwede pwede na mamatay si Consuelo in the river, nagpakita pa rin ulit yung mother niya at save siya. Dahil na-save siya si Consuelo, na-meet na- ulit yung father niya na Stol Modesto. At doon nag-reunite, nagkaroon ng catharsis na na-release yung uh, pent-up emotions and things and problems na naganap sa kanila ever since nangyari yung tra- tragedy back then. So in a way, na-tie up rin niya or na-correct rin niya yung mga mistakes of the past through the, her own um, depiction or through her presence in the film. So now for the significance of Mucha in the contemporary times. So we would actually like to have the Mucha as a reminder or as one of those symbols to love nature. So it's actually a reminder for us to safeguard our natural resources. It's actually also a reminder for us to care for the things that the older generations have imparted to us. Even though we're the latest generation of the Philippines, we, we still have that role to safeguard what was left to us and to actually love our country and the nature uh, uh, present within the country. Shown here is the river passing right now. And of course, uh, it's depictions in art uh, uh, depicted by the piano keys and of course love for country and for our older fellows below so now for our personal recreation of the Mucha theme this is the shared opinion of me and my partner who is Gutierrez so we actually want to reinvent Mucha as both a form of knowledge and wisdom as a form of knowledge we actually want Mucha to be uh, one of those things or one of those key things to symbolize good fortune and undying love for both nature and the Philippines. Um, as a symbol of the Philippines, the Mucha would, uh, we would actually want Mucha to be a symbol for loyalty. Since, of course, if you think of the Mucha as a myth that people follow back then wholeheartedly, we might actually get the idea that we have to be loyal to our countrymen in that same sense or loyal to nature in that same sense. We have to love, we have to devote ourselves to that aspect like our ancestors before us. And also for as a form of wisdom, we actually want Mucha again to be a reminder for nature. We have we want Mucha to be a reminder to love nature or to preserve nature because again, polluted na siya today just like before. So, when you know, we want Mucha to be a symbol to go back to those times when hindi pa siya sira, hindi pa siya polluted, hindi pa siya sobrang bad omen to the people around us. Because right now, all we see are the event, are the issues surrounding the river. So, we would actually want to finish by reminding everyone that while Mucha is actually a, a very old idea, they can still impart to us a lot of wise ideas that we can use to live our lives. It's also a reminder to everyone that we should care for the uh, care for the river itself, much like um, our recent issues surrounding the river. For example, see si Arab Estrada, 
meron siyang dating issue na tinap- nagtapagpasal na basura sa river para lang pick up in ulit and sinasabi na lang clean up project na daw to. But the fact remains that sinira mo yung river to a degree para lang sabihin na nalilinisin mo siya. So more of a political idea na lang yung river sinasabi na i-rehab na lang siya pero in truth people don't really um, care that much for the river Um, or else hindi talaga mangyayari yan. So it's a reminder for us to keep fighting or, uh, and to increase our care and love for nature and our country. So I'd like to thank you all for your attention and I wish you all have a nice day.